ladies and gentlemen, you will not believe who's about to enter the room. Welcome, Hello. Tyler Joel Hi. Miller. How's it going? <laughs> Good thing. Sorry we, uh, sorry we. Have a seat if you'd like. Oh sure. I used to be nervous once in a while, but ah, yeah. Great performance you put on there. Should Loved I it. Make it lose a beer. Oh, <laughs> don't tell anybody. Well, <laughs> I just saw a camera and I figured. Nah, it's all right. It's all legal. Well, welcome to PEI in the 2022 Music Festival. Yeah, thanks. Um, it's yeah, it's awesome. You know what? One of my biggest questions. Yeah. Oh, not the biggest question yet. Okay. But so being from British Columbia, have you had Atlantic Lobster yet? I had it two days ago. I had like a one and a half pounder and I could go for two. That thing was so good. So while you're out here on the island, you're actually touring around and stuff? Yeah, so we, we actually came here a little bit early and then uh, we're actually staying for the whole weekend just because we wanted to enjoy PEI. Excellent. Never been before, so it's the first time and yeah. I've always wondered how performers mix their job social and family life yeah we're still figuring it out <laughs> but you're doing it we're doing it this is the first festival that we've actually been able to just like enjoy um and so yeah we're trying to figure out like which which dates you know you bring the family on or you know just what dates you want to actually spend a little bit more time in that city and things like that so we're still figuring it out we're just getting started so getting started oh yeah uh yeah i see that because <laughs> That's my big question. You were only signed in 2019 by uh, MDM Recordings. Yeah. The last two years, nothing's happened. <laughs> and you've grown What to this success. What is your secret? I don't know. I just sing from the heart, that's all. <laughs> and drink beer. Uh, apparently no. that's the solution. <laughs> oh. Hasn't gotten me anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit of luck. <laughs> no, it's yeah, it's been a wild ride for the last couple of years of putting out music and then, you know, shows just being shut down for a couple of years and and we had some shows last year and we played I think three of them and then we had probably like 10 festivals lined up and then everything had to shut down. And so uh, it just feels like we're getting started this summer finally actually playing a lot of shows in a row. So uh, it's it's a bit overwhelming. I think just going through so many different time changes all the time and, and so many different crowds and it can get tiring and then you hit the stage and you're just wide awake again like the crowds are just unreal. So, oh that's excellent. Yeah, yeah that's sweet. That, that's been the just the best thing is seeing the crowd react to music that I love and they love it just as much is that's life changing. Oh awesome. and congratulations on your 4 out of 5 in the uh, what was that the BC the BC Country Awards. Awards. Yeah, oh. yeah, we got uh, four awards that night, and we're nominated for five, so we got most of them. Yeah. Was, uh, <laughs> it's it, it's crazy because me being from BC, like I used to just play backup guitar and backup vocals for other artists for a couple of years, and just for fun. And uh, the BC Country fan is actually the ones that were like, "Hey, man, you should be doing your own thing. You should be a lead singer. You should be." writing music for other people and for yourself and all this stuff and they just they really pushed me forward into actually kind of doing my own thing so uh, I owe a lot to them and, and they decided to you know still throw some votes my way which is just I, I owe a lot to them. You're doing it you're doing it you're like you're pulling it off. Um, I also did remember uh, watching you accept the Sirius XM at the 2021 yeah in down in London yeah not as nice as PEI though is it? Well, it's different. It's London. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have the ocean like this. So true. But yeah, that was that was unreal as well. It's like like just getting so much support, and especially during those times where we weren't able to play shows. Um, you know, it, I feel like it's kind of hard to stay on the map and stay on the radar of country fans right. when you're not out playing shows at all. And so I feel like that competition really helped keep me on the radar. And you know, kind of going. This is what's going on with Tyler Joe, Tyler Joe, Tyler Joe, because I, I mean, I still am kind of just I'm the pillow talking guy. <laughs> that was the first song that just like blew up, and you know, a lot of people are like, "Who's Tyler Joe?" And then they hear pillow talking, like, "Oh, that guy." And so, uh, yeah, it, it was just really great to have a competition like that that is you know still just showcasing who I am as an artist. So, and awesome. you think pillow talking? 
<laughs> I'd like to know all about cooking chicken on a shovel. <laughs> so my question is, yeah. have you ever cooked chicken on a shovel? If not, what's the weirdest or the wildest way you've cooked or what you've cooked? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> we, I'm not normal. So, yeah, well, me neither. The, when we put that in the song, we had, I'd never cooked chicken on a shovel, but uh, that song started with four of us buddies who are writers uh, day drinking, and it ended up with the top five single somehow. And <laughs> our buddy ended up saying, he goes, oh, like, let's just, like, we're throwing things together that are just weird, stupid things that we do when we're drinking. And one of them goes, yeah, I was actually at this, like, party at this cab one time, and some drunk dude just, like, like pulled out chicken and just put it on a shovel and cooked it over the fire and ate it. We are like, that's, like, nobody does that. That's the stupidest thing. Uh, it's perfect. We're putting it in the first verse. That's what we tried it, though. We did it for the music video. But I will say we cheated because we went to Save on Foods and got a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and then had to put it on the shovel for the music video. But we did still cook it, and it was delicious. <laughs> so... Uh-huh. You're a carpenter and a painter by trade. Yeah. Yes, you I am. <laughs> you still do it or do you hire people now? No, I, uh, I'm full-time music now. So it's, uh, I was doing a contracting thing before and I was doing, uh, I started out with doing carpentry, which is what my main thing was, and then moved into doing a painting company with a few of my, like, best buddies. And so we were just kind of, it felt like we were just hanging out for the day, but we, the only condition was we had to also paint. You know, while we were doing it, and so uh, we did that for you know a couple of years together, and then you know I owe it to them for holding the fort while I was gone and stuff, because uh, they just kind of helped me through being able to navigate doing music and working at the same time and trying to make it all work. But now it's uh, now it's full time music. That's it. You're writing your own tracks. I write a lot of them. You write a lot there's, of them. There's some songs that'll come in though, and uh, our our rule is best song wins. You know, if I didn't write it, that's fine. If it's the better song, I mean, shit, let's yeah. do it. <laughs> uh, How do you deal with handlers? Like, you feel like little monkeys on a string. <laughs> well, I'm stubborn as hell, so. <laughs> you know what? It was really nice to meet you and interview you. You did an awesome job today. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing you in the future. Absolutely. And Thanks all the best, me. and you're doing a phenomenal job. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks very much, me. sir. Absolutely. You have a wonderful weekend and a good trip. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.